Today is Friday, May 27, 2022. It's 1 10 p.m. And I'm calling, I don't know who I'm calling, Teresa Spencer, I guess, from this. I'm trying to reach a circuit court and try to schedule a reschedule a hearing to tell the judge why the, the reason I missed court on April 26 is because my state mandated interlock device for a 21 year old crime blew up again and I it was in service and there was no way I could get there to court and my pro uh, prosecutor John Miller knew all about it because I had, I informed him six days ahead of time that I was having problems and I notified him uh, by two emails before court and instead of instead of uh Going into court and saying that I, I was having problems, he just said I failed to appear. So they put a warrant out for my arrest. Now I'm going through hell trying to figure out how to get this resolved and get my speedy trial that's almost three years old uh, started again. They, they, what they've done is made it impossible for me to get my, my uh, rights to a speedy trial. So I'm going to call this number now. Hi, ma'am. Um, I was told by Judge uh, Holokas uh, to, to dial this, to call this number. Uh, I uh, I was supposed to appear in court on uh, April 26, 2022, and my state-mandated interlock device failed and blew up, and I was in, in the shop at, at the time, and uh, John Miller knew all about that. And instead, he, uh, he said that I failed to appear. So now I have to, uh, I have to reschedule. I have to go, to I guess, to the court to explain what happened. Okay. Um, and, and what uh, I talked to with, uh, with um, Judge Holoka's uh, secretary, she was real nice, and she said to ask for an emergency t uh, hearing. So because of uh, the, what's uh, – I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm a 70-year-old disabled senior citizen, and I, and I live three hours away now from, from Lapeer County, and this is on a, on a trial that, that's gone on for almost three years. What's your last name? Uh, it's Is this Teresa Spencer? No, it's not. Oh, who am I speaking with? Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Hi. Did you want the, the case number? Um, yeah, if you have it. Yes, yeah, it's 20. Yeah, uh, zero... It, the sooner the better it would be it, uh, she asked to, to uh, see if you can get an emergency as f soon as possible because this case has gone on for almost three years yeah and 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 the thing is i i haven't failed one time to appear and then at the last minute when when here i'm ready for my my trial i'm acting as my own attorney and uh my car blows up because my state my uh state mandated uh interlock device failed and John Miller knew all about it, and, and he knew uh, I, because I contacted him the Wednesday before and told him that I was having problems. Then I sent him an email on Friday saying I couldn't make it, make it to court. Then I sent him another email on Sunday with a full explanation to say that why I couldn't make it into court. And he walked into court and said that I failed to appear, so now I got a warrant out for my arrest. Uh, okay. Um, hang on just a second, all right? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, um, so we'll have to have you um, file a motion. If you want, I can give you a hearing date right now. Sure, the sooner the better, ma'am. Okay. Um, well, since, let's see, do you want to try for June 13th? Is that the, is that the earliest, ma'am? Yeah. Well, I mean, actually, no, actually, I could put you on June 6th if you get the motion here right away. 
Um, how do I do that emotion? I don't even. I'm, I'm acting as my own attorney, ma'am. I had to fire my 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 court appointed attorney a year and a half ago. This case has dragged on for almost three years. Okay. Um. Actually, you know what? We are going to have to go with the thirteenth because next week's a short week. So, um. So I can put you on June thirteenth at one thirty. If you go online to michiganlegalhelp.org and just look for a motion form, uh -huh. you can just go ahead, fill it out, and get it sent in to us. Yeah. Did you say Michigan? What was that, ma'am? Michiganlegalhelp.org. Legalhelp.org. Okay. Uh, you should just be able to find a motion and a notice of hearing. Motion and notice of hearing. Okay. And then just put the date of June thirteenth at one thirty on it. Um. Okay, so I can find that, and then and then where do I send it? To, to the circuit court clerk's office. Yes, to, do I have to postal mail it? Uh, yeah. So it'll be two five five Clay Street. Wait a minute, circuit court office. Yep. It was two five five Clay, Clay Street. Uh huh. Uh, Lapeer, Michigan. Four eight four four six. Four four six. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll try to get that done uh, ASAP. And okay. uh, I really appreciate your help. I I. Uh, I'm trying to get this done. I, this, this isn't my fault that this happened, ma'am. The, the, yeah. the state interlock device failed, and, and it, the state blew blew up my car so I couldn't make it to court. And that, that does, oh, that's not my fault. It's not my responsibility. So right. hopefully the judge. Will, okay. Hopefully the judge will show mercy. I hope you have a great yeah. weekend, ma'am. Thank you. You too. Okay. Bye now.